All right, welcome back to the channel. Um, if you've been watching uh, some of my previous videos, I've been trying to get this uh, 500 SEL to uh, basically start up and run. And you'll see that I've replaced the uh, fuel pump, filter, all of the lines, uh, cleaned out the gas tank, and stuff like that. If, if you want to see more on that, uh, there's another video of me doing all of that uh, here on my channel. But today, um, I'm going to be basically getting in here and checking fuel pressures um, up here to the uh, up here to the engine. Um, I've got this uh, fuel pressure gauge that I ended up getting from a uh, good old Uncle Kent from Mercedes source and and yeah um, basically I'm just going to be checking the fuel pressure coming off of this uh, distribution head I I don't have it hooked up to the warm-up regulator yet um, just because I want to make sure that I've got good fuel pressure uh, coming up to the uh, to the uh, distribution head but before I done all of that, um, I really want wanted to make sure that I've got no arcing wires or anything really like that. So I have gone ahead and replaced all of the uh, spark plugs, uh, all of the wires, the uh, distributor cap and rotor, but. Uh, one thing that I'll tell you about the uh, the spark plugs on here that if you don't know um, the spark plugs as you can see here have got well yeah there we go that's a little better um, they got uh, screw on tips on them uh, a lot of these Bosch and oh NGK and uh, spark plugs have got that and to basically get it hooked up onto the uh, the wire, you had to take that that tip off of those spark plugs. And the spark plugs that I'm running on it, or the wires I should say, are uh, Bremies. So I've I've heard I've heard good stories about them. I've heard bad, but. But yeah, um, I just thought I'd give them a shot on here, and uh, I think they work out pretty well. But but yeah, um, other than basically doing that kind of stuff to it, that's about all that I've done. But um, one thing, to be able to test your uh, fuel pump, you want to take and pull out your uh, relay and this relay here looks pretty new on the car i don't know why it is but you can see here that you have to uh basically jump the relay to get that fuel pump to run continuously and if you look here on the relay you need to uh, hook it into uh, pins 15 and 87 and that corresponds, I think, with 7 and 8 down there on this car. I, I can't really see it too well. But, but yeah, um, and now, basically, I've got it hooked into uh, this switch here. Um, you can turn it on, turn it off, and, and yeah, get in here and basically check the uh, fuel pressure. So... You want to have your battery hooked up. You don't have to have the car running. That's the whole point of taking that relay out and hooking up that switch. But you do have to come in here and turn the ignition on. And now you can come off over here and turn this switch on. And just like that, it kicks on the fuel pump, and 
and now this right here is not not operating correctly that fuel pressure should be coming up a little bit faster and you'll see why um, well you might see why it's not coming up very fast this thing should be running should be running at about five to five and a half bars somewhere in there and and it's struggling to get there so I'm thinking that and I don't know if you can hear that or not but that fuel pump is uh, is not having a good time back there so we'll get it shut off there and and yeah um, I think I'm pretty sure that the accumulator here on the back has gone bad okay well since I got kind of cut off there by some loud people driving up and down in front of my house um, yeah I'll get kind of back into where I was at um, I really do think that the reason why I'm not carrying enough fuel pressure uh, to the uh, fuel distributor here is more than likely because of the accumulator in the back if if you know how the accumulator works it basically has a spring inside of it and it will uh, basically holds pressure inside of the fuel system I do believe to uh, make it easier to uh, uh, to start this thing up whenever it's hot and you can't really see the accumulator from here because it's it's tucked clear up on top of the uh, filter there but but it uh, basically holds pressure in the fuel system so that uh, basically it just makes it easier to start whenever it's hot or uh, a few other reasons but but if that accumulator, if the diaphragm in there goes bad, then it's going to basically flow the fuel through the accumulator out of the, uh, uh, basically, uh, other port on the other side of the accumulator from where the fuel line actually goes up to it. And it's just going to dump back in the line that comes off of the tank. And that could be a reason why my fuel pressure is not uh, coming up to where it should be and I'm pretty sure that uh, the car probably won't start with as low as fuel pressure as it has and and I really I, I'm just not going to try to attempt to start it yet um, just just for that fact because I know it's not going to run right with that low of fuel pressure even if it does start so I'm just going to kind of leave it at that for now and we'll get a uh, accumulator ordered up and get it put on there. Maybe, maybe I'll see about getting some fuel injectors for it too to do at the same time. And, and yeah, we'll just kind of go from there. Um, but, but yeah, if you, uh, want to see more, uh, work being done on this old 500 SEL here um, please consider uh, subscribing to my channel and giving my video a like if you if you enjoyed uh, you know some of the stuff that I've done on here but I think here at some point I'm going to have to get out here and get to uh, taking a look on that C55 because it's almost wanting to vibrate a little bit um i'm not sure why it's it's not nothing horrible but i i need to uh get in and uh pull the front wheels off and just give everything a good look over but that's probably not going to be anytime too soon unless unless the vibration gets really bad 
um, then I will have to pull it apart. But but here at some point, I'm I'm probably going to have to end up doing that, and I'll make a video on it. But but yeah, um, I guess uh, I'll call it call it good on this video here for the car and. Um, I'll put up another video whenever I finally get the uh, accumulator in and and we'll uh, kind of go from there on tracking down uh, why this car is not running and and yeah but but thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.